Hello, the Simple Social Icons plugin is really easy to use and it's used in most of the StudioPress demo sites. And if you just install it and don't change any of the settings, it looks something like this. Just little Facebook icons, Instagram, Twitter, things like that. It, it depends on which social media accounts you've got as to which you include in this list of icons. Once you've installed the plugin, all you need to do, go to Appearance, Widgets, find the simple social icons widget and then drag it into the widget area you want to use. I'm putting this one in a sidebar here and then open the box and there are quite a lot of different um, options. You've got Facebook, Dribble, GitHub, Google Plus, there's loads of them and all you need to do is just go to your web page whichever one you uh, uh, with your Twitter page or Facebook page. This is the uh, Twitter page for Automatic. Automatic is the company behind WordPress. And you just copy the URI here, just copy that. And then you go back to Simple Social Icons and you find the Twitter option down here somewhere. Twitter. And in there you just paste the URI. And then when you click Save, now if we go back to the, the, uh, our site, if we click the Twitter link, it takes us to the uh, Twitter page that we've listed. You just do the same thing for all of your different um, social media accounts. You go to the page, so it could be Dribble or Google Plus, whatever, copy the URI, go back to simple social icons find the right one so if it was stumble upon you paste it in there if it was tumblr or vimeo or youtube just paste it in the right box and then click save now there are some more settings you can change how the icons look so we've got you can change the icon size you can change the border radius the border width alignment this image is from the blog post i've made to go with the video and it gives you a better idea. So you can make a big icon, a uh, uh, 80 pixels icon size. So instead of being this size, it will be that size. You can change the border radius, how rounded the corners are. You can change the border width. And you can align the icons. If you've only got two or three icons, you can align them in the center. You'll have to play with these settings. Um, if you have a large icon, you'll need a larger border radius to make it round. But just play with the settings and see what you see what you like the look of. Now, as well as the size of the icons, you can choose the color of the icons. You can choose the color of the little icons themselves, which is the icon font color. You can choose the background color and the hover color. So when you hover over one of these, you can choose a color to uh, to change it to and the, you can have a, you don't have to have a border but you can have a border around the icons if you want one and these are the icons with those settings so I just need to go to the simple social icons widget and just change the setting that's an icon size of uh, 80 pixels border radius of 5 pixels border width of 1 and then down below I change the colors you just just click on the uh, thing to pick the colour, you can pick whatever colours you want. Or you can type in the hexadecimal code, if you know what the, the code is, you can just type it in there. Or just drag the thing around to choose a colour that you like. And if you're not sure what colour to make your icons, this is a good place to start. It's the Adobe Colour um, website, it's called colour.adobe.com and there are loads of uh, colour schemes to choose from. So a quick recap, all you need to do, install and activate the Simple Social Icons plugin, then go to Appearance, Widget, drag the Simple Social Icons widget into a widget area, open the box, scroll down and find the, your fa the Facebook box or the GitHub box, whichever one you need to use. Go to your Twitter page, wherever your uh, social media account is, copy the URI of the page and then you just paste it in the correct box. So if it was a Facebook page, you paste it in there. And if you're wondering where this smiley little face came from, it's a website that's 
uh, built by the Studio Press team or some other Studio Press team called Minimography. And the good thing about this site is it's called Minimography.com. And if you look at the um, the license agreement at the bottom, if we can get to the bottom, let's see, I think we're there. It's a really good licensing agreement that lets you use it for all all kinds of things. Uh, you can use the photos in personal projects, commercial projects, without attribution to the, to the photographer, um, and you can customize the images as well. When you when you're using images on the internet, you've got to be really careful that you don't get sued. But this one's well worth looking at. Have a look at Minimography and see what you think if you want some images. Anyway, that's the plugin we've dealt with. Simple social icons and uh, it's a good plugin used on a lot of studio press themes.